my Jesuit education uh, started in high school and continued at LMU, obviously. I went to Jesuit High School in Sacramento, California, and then uh, ended up coming here. And I would, I would take classes, or I would register for classes that were taught by uh, the Jesuits or the Marymount Sisters as much as possible. Um, because of the life that they have dedicated themselves to, the life dedicated to education, um, it was in those classes that I felt the most um, respected, the most uh, uh, engaged, um, and, I, and I always, I always just felt that, that the Jesuit priest that was that was teaching me, the father that was teaching me, had a passion that that went beyond being paid to teach, um, and. That's why I parlayed my, my, my high school Jesuit education into a collegiate Jesuit education. LMU, when I first started attending, was maybe a little over 5,000 students. Um, so the, the socialization uh, of, of, of a student as you go from a, from a child to a quote-unquote adult human person um, was extremely helpful uh, to be in kind of a smaller, more intimate setting. Um, but it's not just, you know, not just intellectual education, you know, uh, uh, a, a college experience that is dedicated to service, um, a college experience that is dedicated to um, uh, creating, creating a type of, of person who has a certain level of integrity that uh, when they go out into the world, it doesn't matter what they pursue, they are taking this institution along with them. And I think people, people notice that. As far as my, my specific career, um, I found myself probably more uh, um, prepared and well-rounded in the theatrical arts than, than other actors that I had uh, encountered who were maybe just working uh, on screen or in other capacities. Uh, so I think the, the well-rounded nature of at least my department kind of gave me a wealth of knowledge to, um, to kind of navigate at least the world of theater a little bit, a little bit easier than, than if I had gone elsewhere. Because the storytelling is so wonderfully intricate and well-woven, um, Almost everything gives something else away. To my dismay and yours, when I have to go out and promote the show, there's very little I can say. And when you are trying to report on the show, there's very little response that I can give you. So it makes both of our jobs very difficult. Um, but I, I will say this, that the, the integrity of, of the writing and the integrity of the storytelling in season two matches, if not surpasses, season one. Um, I think Dan Fogelman, the creator, and his writing staff know what they are doing to people. They know the story that they are trying to tell. They know that they are not just trying to make you feel, but they want you to ask why you are feeling these things, um, why you are connecting with a certain character, why uh, this, this uh, encounter makes you cry, why does it make you laugh. Um, and to, to have the responsibility of, of holding people's trust and emotions in your hands is a very big one. And Dan and the writing staff and the entire cast and crew take that responsibility very seriously. So season two, it's going to be great. The hard part about making it in Hollywood uh, is, is that the, the roads in are always different. No two are alike. Every person I've ever met has uh, achieved their, their uh, quote-unquote success in, in a different way or fo by following a different path. Um, the only thing that they all had in common uh, was that they all experienced fear and doubt, and they pushed ahead anyways. There's a great deal of faith that goes along with pursuing a, a, a creative life or an artistic life. 
Um, and uh, if there's one thing you learn at a Catholic university, it's faith. <laughs>